y'all believe it's been five years since the whole clever shutdown situation happened i've thought about like maybe i should finally share my story i think we're flying into a potential hurricane our flight is canceled Welcome back to my channel. This is really weird. Honestly, I don't know where this whole idea, actually I do know where this whole idea came from. After literally, I've been on YouTube since 2009 and I've never been a person who's like, you know what? I'm gonna vlog, but, and this is where things are gonna get really weird. I feel like you guys really know me. I feel like I actually share a lot, but maybe I don't. Maybe I just feel like I do. Anyways, the last two days during, oh my gosh. See, that's where we're getting real. That's my human hair. The last two days during my like quiet time, I felt like a very clear message. You should do vlogs. <laughs> Is that God telling me I should become a vlogger? Honestly, I don't know. I cannot really make that statement. Is it my own self being like, you should do some vlogs? I don't know what it is, but you know what? I'm just gonna see it through. So I've decided that for the rest of this year, I am going to release a weekly vlog, letting you guys into more of my life, more of what our routine is like, which quite frankly is not a routine at all. Our life is not even borderline, it is out of control. <laughs> so maybe that's the point of these vlogs, to just show me as a human being that I need to chill the F out. Whatever the case, nothing gets more real than just hopping out of the shower, not sure what's happening here, not sure what's going on, literally at all. He came home from Europe last Last week and since we landed on the ground in Los Angeles things have been wild we have not even unpacked our suitcases and in a few days we're leaving to go on another international trip for one of my dearest friends weddings anyways all that to say let's jump in guys your girl is vlogging now don't know if this is permanent don't know if any of you even care and by the way now is the time to like mash the like button leave a comment also I'm really curious do you guys want to know anything specific are there any burning questions you've had I can't imagine anyone having burning questions about me but if you have had one now's the time y'all now is the time but i'm starving i need to like get it together and get some breakfast before my first meeting of the day okay so i'm out of the shower I have to say in this house we are huge breakfast people you guys probably know this about me but i love cooking this is an egg sandwich with sriracha ranch two different kinds of cheese again like i said huge breakfast people i know people always say like breakfast is the most important meal of the day but it's actually true for a million different reasons not just because it's delicious but also like hashtag science it's just good for you also i'm so sorry I'm eating with my mouth full. That's so rude. Per the usual, I am kind of in a little bit of a rush. We have a meeting in an hour and a very important meeting. It's a new project that we're starting today that we're investors on. You guys know we love real estate. We love doing our own projects, but this is one that we're not in charge of. We just got invited to be a part of and it's kind of a big deal. So we're very excited. It's gonna be a really fancy house here in Los Angeles. I have to finish my breakfast, but oh, is that stunning or what? Mm, okay. Here we go. One of Chris's previous colleagues who has a similar business to us in terms of renovating homes invited you to invest in this project invited us invited us to invest in this project so today is day one and this is going to be a year-long renovation process yeah hopefully hopefully the max but i think we're basically they want to double the square footage of the house a pretty big project and best part about this project you don't have to go over there and like grind on the tile. But you know I'm gonna be like sitting over there all the time just cause I'm so nosy. Here we go, pulling up for the first time. Here we go. Which house is it? A cute little West LA neighborhood. It's, it's this one up here on the right. Cute! <laughs> the Tulum house because Alex, who is the designer, who was also just at the meeting, who by the way, coolest people ever, Mark and Alex, she's gonna go for like a Tulum inspired design. You've always loved Tulum, right? I, I always have loved. I've never been to real Tulum, but I like fake design Tulum. fake yeah. Tulum. I'm excited. Aren't you excited to just like do this? Yeah, and I'm excited to learn. I was talking to Alex and she's a real designer. Not like an imposter designer like me. I think it's gonna go a little bit faster than here. That's my prediction. I didn't even show you guys my cute outfit I'm wearing. Home from our meeting. 
ready and we still have not unpacked from Europe. Today I need to try to like tackle all of this because we're leaving to go out of town again day after tomorrow. So pray for me. Good morning. What time is it? It's actually not that early. It's like 640. It just seems it seems early because it's still dark outside, but we are up and headed to the airport. This is a very normal day in our life. Chris is going to Arizona. I'm gonna go meet him there tomorrow night. And we're headed to LAX, home away from home, baby. I forgot to tell you guys why Chris is even going to Arizona. I don't know if you follow me on TikTok, but I have been documenting a home we've been renovating for how long? Like three months, yeah, four I months? So. I can't even believe I'm saying this, but welcome to day 93 on grandma's house. We've been calling it grandma's house because it feels like a place grandma would live. And Chris is headed out a few days before me because we're really, really, really trying to finish it. Are we going to? Hopefully. It's like 7.45, I'm gonna make myself a smoothie and then I have so much to do. And also we have been gone from our house for almost two months and your girl misses her friends. So I'm gonna hang out with one of my besties today. Okay, also I realize this is like a huge mess. This little guy right here, they got this on Amazon. I use it for smoothies and soups or whatever. <laughs> I know people will ask. This is vanilla vegan protein, collagen powder, ice, nut butter, oats. That's all I have. I usually put greens in, but I have nothing in my fridge. And I honestly don't want to go buy anything because I'm going out of town tomorrow. And like, why? Mm. Just parking right now at Pilates. Since this is like our first weekly vlog together, maybe you guys are still getting to know me. I'm not sure. But I try to work out like five days a week, 1000% for mental clarity. If I don't exercise, I feel, I just don't feel well. And after spending almost two months away from home, I'm honestly a little nervous because Pilates is quite literally the hardest thing I feel. It looks, it looks like you're not even doing anything, but those who know, know. I feel like like a pool noodle. I feel as though I have zero control over my limbs whatsoever. I grabbed one of these. Have you guys ever heard of these? Alani Nui. This is their collab with Kim Kardashian. It's Kim Aid. I typically hate energy drinks. This is my jam, okay? I'm down with this and I'm not being paid to say that. And right now I'm so excited. I'm about to drive out to meet up with Dana. You guys know Dana. And do one of our favorite things of all time. We're going thrifting. And probably like a year ago, I went for the first time to like the biggest thrift store for sure in LA. It's the St. Vincent de Paul. It's like the size of a Costco. Let's go. Hi, we are documenting Jocelyn's life. We are shopping at the thrift store. And yeah, we haven't seen each other in a long time. She just left a month to You've never been here though. What do you think about this place? It's so huge and there's just so much to go through. It's crazy. Look at this. Well, if you're gonna get a hat, I'm kind of leaning towards this oh, wait, one. This <laughs> That's my hat. <laughs> but I kind of love this. Oh, wow. This feels like something you would wear like horseback riding. It says hip hop. Oh, okay, right. This is my hip hop costume. It's great. One, two. Get down. Honestly, what a fun day. Had the best time hanging out with my D-dub, my Dana Ward. How wild is it that we started Clever in a garage in 2009? Which, I mean, how many years ago is that? Is that like 15 years ago at this point? To have made some of my best friends slash, I mean, really family from that experience is the gift that never stops giving. By the way, I have a deep conditioning mask on my hair and this is bonnet situation that you put in the microwave and it gives you a heated conditioner experience. You leave it on your head. I leave it on until it's cooled down. When I tell you my hair has never felt better than it does after this, I'm not lying. But what I was gonna say is, can y'all believe it's been five years almost since the whole Clever shutdown situation happened. It hasn't been five years since I left Clever because I stayed on, I think for like another 
six months or something like that. But it's just so wild to think about. And it's, gosh, I have a lot of thoughts about it. I'm so grateful that it lived on. I've been cheering from afar for them for a really, really long time. I'm just so grateful to everybody who worked so hard to give Clever a second chance. But it is interesting. I have a lot of emotions about like how it all came to be, came to pass. <laughs> And kind of never getting the chance to say goodbye really to the audience even though like a lot of you are here from there I've thought about like oh maybe at this five-year anniversary of all of that happening maybe I should finally share my story but I just I don't know I don't know I feel like I don't want to make anything dramatic because it's not guess what it's not dramatic and as you guys saw today I'm still literally best friends with all of the people that I was super close friends with when I worked there I still like talk to Lily almost every single day Jill and then all the other other amazing people at Clever. Anyways, I'm rambling at this point. I need to let this do its work because I cannot go to this wedding looking like a ragamuffin. Why did that pop into my head? Also, when the cat's away, the mouse will drink a White Claw. Chris is out of town, so partying. Also, it's 6.30. <laughs> wondering if it's bedtime yet. Oh, I'm so boring. Good morning, my friends. Your girl has already lived a whole life. It's 9.30, which basically for me is like noon for most people. I'm already about to make my second, not pot, okay, chill out. Am I talking to myself right now? Also, by the way, okay, I tried to do these like press on cool nails last night. Can you tell they're like little daisies? These are a little too long for me. Like I might hurt myself. Also, it was so embarrassing this morning at my workout class. While I was picking up a weight, one of them fell off and I hit it inside my pants. You guys, I want to show you my... I want to show you my new coffee maker because I'm very excited about it. Check it out. How freaking cool is this? So... This coffee maker actually can do K-cups or regular coffee. I put grounds in. Then you just turn it on. So I'm just gonna do one 16 ounce coffee rich, which I think means really strong, but you can do over ice or specialty drinks. And while this brews, you guys check this out. This little guy comes out on the side to froth your milk so you can make a cappuccino. Like what so the coffee is done and i just heated up a little bit of half and half in here and check this out you just press the button on top you see that and you just pull this guy off and rinse it and look at this now i just need to learn how to do some like art ignore my house it's a total mess but, oh, this is a terrible shot. My house is a mess, but at least I look cute, right? Like that's how we feel. I have a event today at YouTube and I wanted to look kind of cute, but also <laughs> I'm running super late and my hair is wet and this is just what's happening. But I did fix the nails. Like, what do we think? Am I meant for this life? <sighs> she's Western, she's borderized, she's vintage, she's current, she's serving, she's very late. It's time to go. <laughs> Okay, I made it to YouTube right across the street. That's where the YouTube space used to be. RIP. So sad. I don't think it exists anymore. You can't come to a YouTube event without having a major reunion. Yeah. We've not seen each other in five years since we were in Nashville together, which oh was one of the most iconic brand trips I've ever been on in my life. It was for layer cake wines. Layer cake but wines. We're available to go on another trip. Oh, by the way, she's on YouTube. Obviously a style icon, so I'll be linking <laughs> to her channel right here. So go over, subscribe, do all the things. And now obviously everyone has left. So <laughs> we need to go. It's time for us to go inside. Just got home from the YouTube event. It's kind of, sorry, it's kind of loud. I just got a new robot vacuum actually kind of loud hold on okay that's better who knew the robot vacuum was gonna be so loud i'm a little bit flustered quite frankly because it's 3 40 and i have a flight leaving lax at 5 10. i'm headed to phoenix to meet up with chris he's been there working since i dropped him off yesterday which feels like 500 years ago and then tomorrow we're going to mexico for one of my girlfriend's weddings so i have my bag back there also look at that new art from lone fox Do you guys follow lone fox on youtube and instagram and everywhere he's amazing I have to stop filming and like get the F out. By the way, this is not what I normally wear to the airport, but this is just where we're at. And I have all these rituals and things that I have to do. They're not rituals. They're just habits that I have before I leave for the airport that like, honestly, I haven't been able to really get to. I don't like to leave my house messy, but no matter what, all the trash is out. I already did that. There's no dishes in the sink. The fridge has nothing in it. It didn't, it didn't have anything in it anyways. And the bed is made. And with that, I'm ready to go on an international trip. Hi, 
video. Made it to Phoenix. My knight in shining armor and shining Toyota truck from the 90s picked me up. You know what? I have news for you that you don't even know about. Okay, tell me. We're buying another house today. What? Yep. Babe! Okay, no one ever, ever believes me. They're like, this is not how it goes. And you just witnessed that happen in real time. We're buying a new house. This is actually what? This is actually where? Not, not a lie. What? Uh, another townhouse with Matt. We're buying. We're buying a townhouse with your brother. Yep. Made that decision two hours ago. So cool. Well, friends. Good morning from Arizona. Got here late last night. Had a little dinner. Woke up this morning to some issues at one of our Airbnbs at the hotel. Thank God we're even here because normally we're not here. So we've been out of the house since 6 a.m. something, got some coffee, and now we're headed to Walmart to get some supplies for one of our renters before we go to the airport. This oh is gosh. crazy. What a perfect day to be vlogging on a mistake day where we're like running around at 7. There's nothing I hate more than when someone who's like staying at our house has an issue. I feel like they're staying at our house. I mean, they are, but it's like when you have a house guest, you want everything to go well for them. I'm not even gonna tell you what happened because, but we're going to Walmart right now to buy them some supplies and also get them a gift. <laughs> and we're also taking money off of their rental. Should I buy them a breakfast burrito? You know, that's like my love language. Nothing like being at Walmart at 7 a.m. Honestly, any chance I get to return to this cute little house, it just makes me so happy. I love this house so much. The front door, I mean, brings me so much joy. And I think you guys have been in here before, but I just love the way this little place turned out. This place is usually booked like honestly almost solid, but there is some availability. A fun little DIY. This headboard that we painted, so cute. And then fun fact, this artwork, this diptych, is a shower curtain that I cut in half from Walmart. We made it to the airport. Also, like, this is the most confusing outfit I've ever worn. What are you in? Is that my shirt? This is your shirt, because I know I'm going to be cold on the plane. But when we get off the plane, it's going to be 5,000 degrees. And also, my girlfriend's talking to me today that I think we're flying into a potential hurricane. So, I'm sorry, what do you have right there? Some breakfast drinks from Mexico. <laughs> your salad. What time is it? Nine. And I'm eating a Cobb cob salad. Cheers to Pots. Sarah Pots. Honestly, it is what it is at this point. It's 9 a.m. when we've already like lived a whole life. So, what's a girl to do but have a glass of Pinot Grigio on a Cobb salad? Which, by the way, the food at Phoenix Airport slaps. Also, allegedly, apparently, a hurricane on the way here. And by allegedly, apparently, I mean the weather people are confirming it, but the bride is chill and everyone is happy and everyone's having a great time. They've made some slight tweaks. Like, I guess the wedding was supposed to be on the beach, but like, maybe not the best idea. But we're headed to the welcome party. But before we go, I have to show you Chris's outfit. A printed boot sock, some white Reebok, a green matching set, and it's all topped off by the Euro mullet. So here we are, we're just two teenage girls at a wedding. We got invited, we don't know how we got here. And apparently we also have husbands now. Not a bad outfit. Just two teenage girls at a wedding. Good morning. Greetings from Cabo, from Mexico. Today is the big wedding day. There is a hurricane rolling in. Look at these freaking waves, <laughs> holy crap. The waves are pretty gargantuan right now. It hasn't fully started raining yet, but 
our flight is canceled. So we do live here now. And you know, let me just show you what's happening. Okay, look at this. Some of the biggest I've ever seen in person. Those are like 20 foot waves. Oh, wow. <laughs> So I'm almost actually ready for the wedding. It's gonna be in about an hour, but right now I'm headed over to the bride's room to take a few photos and videos of her while she's getting ready. I can't wait to see what she looks like. Oh my gosh. do for fun. <laughs> totally passed thank god everyone and everything is fine and most importantly we have a flight out tomorrow thank you southwest and also they've let us out of our rooms so people are just really living so i'm just like burning my eyes because we haven't had sun but the people at this host hotel that we're staying at via del arco are amazing cannot thank them enough for taking such good care of us and i recommend this place 10 out of 10 out of 10. After five, maybe six elegant days in Mexico, we are finally going home after our very first hurricane wedding. And first hurricane really too. So grateful everyone here at this hotel, which our room, there's like so much human hair everywhere. But this is so memorable and the bride is obsessed with the fact that no one will ever forget this experience. <laughs> and so am I. Okay, let's go. Well, here we are. We made it back to Arizona. Our first hurricane together, babe. Yeah, first hurricane, but then straight to our work day starting at 5 p.m. So I told you guys when I started this vlog that you're about to get a little slicey, spicy glimpse. <laughs> glimpse into our life. We just landed Mexico to Phoenix and we picked up our truck. We're filling it with staging materials and we're headed straight to grandma's house because we have to get that in the market in the next few days. And there's still a lot of work to be done. So with that, my friends, I told you I'm gonna be doing one weekly vlog for the rest of 2023, and I'm going to stick with my promise. If you like this, leave a thumbs up, smash the like button. What do you wanna see next? Because that party starts tomorrow. Oh, and by the way, if you're still watching, love you so much, that's it. Am I a good vlogger? You're a great vlogger. I'm such a great vlogger. Look out, Casey Neistat. Look out, Mr. Beast. Look out, whoever else has won the streamy for best vlogger of the year because your girl's coming for your brand. I'd watch you. You would? You have to. I'm, I'm done. Bye. Bye.